Enzyme blocking therapy is a type of cancer treatment that targets specific enzymes involved in the growth and spread of cancer cells. Several types of enzymes can be targeted in enzyme blocking therapy, including kinases, proteases, and histone deacetylases, DAX. Each of these enzymes plays a different role in the development and progression of cancer and therefore requires different types of drugs to block their activity. One example of an enzyme blocking therapy used in cancer treatment is tyrosine kinase inhibitors, TKIs, which treat certain types of leukemia and other cancers. TKIs block the activity of specific enzymes called tyrosine kinases, which are involved in signaling pathways that promote the growth and survival of cancer cells. Another example is proteasome inhibitors, which treat multiple myeloma and certain other types of cancer. Proteasomes are enzymes that break down proteins in cells. And cancer cells rely on them to eliminate unwanted proteins that would otherwise inhibit their growth. Proteasome inhibitors block the activity of these enzymes, leading to the accumulation of toxic proteins that can kill cancer cells. DEC inhibitors are another class of enzyme-blocking drugs used to treat certain types of lymphoma and other cancers. DECs are enzymes that help regulate gene expression. And cancer cells often have abnormal patterns of gene expression that contribute to their growth and survival. DEC inhibitors work by blocking the activity of these enzymes, which can help restore standard gene expression patterns and inhibit the growth of cancer cells. Overall, enzyme blocking therapy is a promising approach to cancer treatment that has successfully treated various cancers. However, like all cancer treatments, it has its limitations and potential side effects and should be used under the guidance of a qualified healthcare provider. Hormone-dependent forms of cancer are types of cancer that rely on hormones to grow and spread. These types of cancer typically occur in tissues sensitive to hormones, such as the breast, prostate, and uterus. In these types of cancer, the hormones act as signaling molecules that tell the cancer cells to grow and divide. Therefore, blocking or suppressing the hormones can be an effective way to slow down or stop the growth of cancer cells. One. Breast cancer, most breast cancers are hormone-dependent, relying on estrogen and progesterone to grow. Treatment for hormone-dependent breast cancer often involves hormone therapy, including medications that block or lower the body's estrogen levels. 2. Prostate cancer, the growth of most prostate cancers is also driven by hormones, specifically testosterone. Treatment for hormone-dependent prostate cancer often involves hormone therapy, including medications that lower the body's testosterone levels or block its effects on cancer cells. 3. Endometrial cancer The most common type of endometrial cancer is hormone-dependent, which relies on estrogen to grow. Treatment for hormone-dependent endometrial cancer can include hormone therapy, surgery, radiation therapy, or chemotherapy. Other hormone-dependent cancers include ovarian, testicular, and thyroid cancer, among others. It's important to note that not all breast, prostate, or endometrial cancers are hormone-dependent. Therefore, it's essential to work with a healthcare provider to determine the specific type of cancer and the best course of treatment. Hormone-independent forms of cancer are types of cancer that do not rely on hormones to grow and spread. These types of cancer can occur in any tissue or organ. Their growth is typically driven by genetic mutations or other cellular changes that make the cancer cells resistant to hormone-based treatments. 1. Lung cancer Most lung cancers are hormone-independent, meaning they do not rely on hormones to grow. Instead, they are typically caused by genetic mutations or other cellular changes often related to smoking or exposure to other environmental toxins. Treatment for hormone-independent lung cancer usually involves surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, targeted therapy, or immunotherapy. 2. Colorectal cancer Most colorectal cancers are hormone-independent, meaning they do not rely on hormones to grow. 
The risk of colorectal cancer increases with age, and lifestyle factors such as diet, exercise, and smoking can also play a role. Treatment for hormone-independent colorectal cancer often involves surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, targeted therapy, or immunotherapy. 3. Pancreatic cancer Pancreatic cancer is also typically hormone-independent, and its aggressive nature often makes it difficult to treat. Treatment for hormone-independent pancreatic cancer usually involves surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, targeted therapy, or immunotherapy. Other hormone-independent cancers include liver, kidney, bladder, and brain cancer, among others. It's important to note that not all cancers are hormone-dependent or hormone-independent. Therefore, it's essential to work with a healthcare provider to determine the specific type of cancer and the best course of treatment. Matthew, a cancer and stroke survivor, requests that you help spread awareness of severe diseases by publishing this video. Please take a moment to subscribe to and like this video.